Do you want to know how to go from this to this? Then keep on watching. If you're subscribed to this channel or you're new here, hi, first of all, hi, my name is Lila, lovely to meet you. And on this channel, we're all about creating better videos. And one way to create better videos and to increase the production level is by doing the little things. It is things like adding text behind a person or making text stick to a person. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in After Effects. And yes, I've been there, After Effects, a lot of people are afraid of After Effects and I totally get it. It is very intimidating, but the possibilities are endless. And that is why I recommend to check out After Effects anyways. And for this video, I'm just going to hold your hand and we're going to go through this step by step. So you won't find it difficult, you won't be lost and you're going to love the result, let's be honest. So let's dive right in and do this. Once you've opened After Effects, the first thing that you need to do is to create a new composition. And what we're going to do now is right click on the window, so not on the clip, on the window, select new and then null object. Then we wanna make sure that we have selected our clip again and then we go to the right side where it says tracker and then we're going to click on track motion. Now you see boxes appear and the little box in the middle, that is going to be the thing that you're going to track. So for example, in my case, I'm going to track my ring. Now the bigger box, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it's wide and big enough for After Effects to be able to predict where my ring is going to be in the next frame. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna know where your hand is going or where your object or person is going to. And then you wanna make sure that the box is big enough. So when you move one frame, your object, and in my case, my ring and my hand is still in that big box. In that case, it will be easier for After Effects to track this automatically. One thing that I really recommend is to take something that is very clear for After Effects to recognize. So for example, a ring is very easy to recognize or well, not always as easy, but it's easier than tracking your finger, for example. Why this is important, you don't have to do this, but it's very important and it will help you because otherwise you have to track everything manually and trust me, you kind of want to avoid that. After you've readjusted the boxes, now it is time to click on this button and just Pray and hope for the best because it can go two ways. Or After Effects will have a very hard time tracking the object, which means that you will have to manually track it. Or After Effects is being very nice to you and it can track your object perfectly. After you're done tracking and before you want to click on apply, you want to make sure that the target is the null object. So you can check that right here where it says motion target and if it doesn't say no object, all you have to do is to click on edit targets, select layer, and then in the drop down menu, make sure that you select your no object. Click OK. And now the no object is attached to my hand. But there is nothing, there is nothing moving. We've done the scary part. The scary part is done, but now we just need to either create some text or import a logo or whatever you want to stick to your hand or object. All right, so now the trick is to position it and resize it to where you want it to be. And once you've done that, all you have to do is go here and you see this little swirly thing, grab that swirly thing and drag it to the null object. This is how you link something to something else, which is called pick whipping. Pick whipping, pick whip, pick, pick. Pick whipping, it's called pick whipping or swirly thing if you're like me. Now you will see that the text moves with my hand. And this is exactly what we want, but sometimes it just doesn't look as good throughout the entire clip. Sometimes you want the text to be a little bit lower or a little bit higher. And you can do this by pressing P on your keyboard and then you can change the positioning. But make sure to create keyframes because if you don't create a keyframe for this, what will happen is you will change the position for the entire clip, which is not what you want. So make sure to first create a keyframe for the default setting and then create a keyframe for the new position. The last thing we have to do in order to use this is to add it to the render queue. And while we're rendering this clip, make sure to watch this video and of course hit subscribe and the notification bell in case you wanna be notified and so we can see each other in the next video.